welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone doing today? So before we get started with the pour, and I'm going to show you that. Well, you just saw it, so, but anyway. Um, I just wanted to show you a little what I've been working on. So you, if you remember these, I made... You know a whole bunch of resin pieces all different types and I was like okay this is really great but like if I'm to sell these let's say at a show at a fair if any of you guys want to buy it like what am I gonna do with them they could you just pieces I mean I think they're totally awesome so I went ahead I was like okay all the pieces that I didn't have the hooks yet, I can make magnets. I don't want them to go to waste. I mean, yep, would people like this just like this, but like, what are, what are they gonna use it for, you know? And I think people like to use objects. I mean, I know I do. So I, th I think these are really awesome, uh, you know, to sell. So I got 150 of these, okay, for like $5.99. So I thought that was really cool on Amazon. So I made little magnets, and these are the dime size magnets. So, and they're just so attracted to one another. How cute, oh, how cute. Anyway, these, and I test them out, they work great. And actually I just used some hot glue, but I am waiting for that E6000 or E600 glue, whatever that you guys had, some of you guys had suggested. So these came out really, really cool, and I'm really happy with them. Now these, if you remember, they're my little weird skull pieces of oh, my camera would only focus. There it is. I am in love with these. I know, the conjoined twins, so creepy. I love them. Anyway, what I did was, because these are a little more see-through, and I didn't want the magnet to show through. Uh, the same thing with this one. I didn't want them like to really see the magnet. So what I did was I painted the magnet uh, with a little gold paint. And they're attracted to one another, of course. And then I glued it on. And that way you really couldn't see it as much. So yeah, so that's that. I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. I will move that out of the way in a minute. Oh, they are going crazy. All right. So I'm going to move those out of the way real quick. I just was really excited to show you guys this. Let's move that out of the way. And yeah. So that's what I have been doing. I'm just trying to prepare for like the warmer weather. And you know, you never know. I've never done like craft tables before or anything like that or fairs or I know there was a really cool one in Manhattan that me and my friend, um, Flavia, hey Flavia, uh, went to last year, and um, actually one of the girls there who was selling, there was like crochet stuff, and there was some painting, and she, I think she was doing poor paintings, a small one, so I was like, okay, cool, this, this place is good for me, and it was in Manhattan, who knows how much the tables are, but you know, we'll see, and it was so very quickly, this is how this guy dried. So not bad. Um, it did get a little darker, but not much. It did get, the pink did get darker right around here, probably because some of the green bled into it, but you still see the yellow. Um, the pink is still very prevalent around. You know, it just got a little darker over here. It's still bright. So this dried really nice and smooth, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's still, it's still bright, you know? So, because a lot of times these neons, they do dry a little darker, and it did dry darker in here, but, you know, not bad. Not, not, not bad at all. All right, so on that kind of like, because you guys kind of like was pushing me to go brighter, so I don't know, I just kind of like, I was just thinking, okay, what's really bright? What's really pretty? So I was in my head, I just had this idea of like, the idea of confetti and like fireworks you know that kind of like really that pop so today I'm calling it the big pop now I know I'm sure someone out there and YouTube land has already done this and that's totally cool but I have, I have never tried it before so we're gonna use our syringe again but we're going to use it in another different way. And there is a lot of shadow. Sorry about that. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is take another 8x10 canvas, and I am going to layer my cup, and then I am going to puncture the bottom of the cup, okay, and um, let the paint flow out. All right, that's my idea. Like I said, I'm sure someone has done it. I'm sure I've seen it out there. I don't remember who did it. I have seen before where you do a flip cup, okay, and you pop the um, top and then the paint flows out. I'm not doing it that way. I'm going to puncture the bottom and let the paint flow out that way, okay? So, I've never tried it before, and... You know, there's probably hundreds of you guys have done it already, and that is awesome. Alright, but this is my little version of it. Okie dokie. So, um, alright, let's start from here. So we got that beautiful neon color. Again, there is deco art in there, and there is, oh, sorry, I forgot to bring it up, but it's a deco art medium. Um, you know, my materials are always listed in the, in the description below. Uh, deco art medium with the neon pink uh, artist loft flow acrylics then we have some primal flow the glam red then we have some lime fizz both really really beautiful bright colors then we have some artist loft in the tube okay but that's a neon blue and I'm gonna tell you what's in it as well um, then we have I wanted some gold in there like confetti and fireworks we got the 24 karat gold and the extreme sheen and then we have the gloss enamel I think this is called shimmering silver there it is and then we have a little bit of black um, with a serum coat now in these four colors we ha all have Floetrol okay that's my uh, Floetrol that's already been um, how do you say it you know uh, Oh, strained thank you Whew. strained already okay so they all have flow troll or four four of these colors have flow troll however I don't have it up here either but this these two here are leftover paint from another pour I did very recently okay the silver and the black so in these two there is some primal flow metallic medium Okay, so that's what's in there as well, but there is flow troll and then in all four of these is I haven't used this guy in a very very long time and look at this. This is nasty um, The spot on 100% silicone Okay, it's a treadmill lubricant That we all know and love Alrighty, yeah, because that beautiful uh, painting that I love so much up there I miss using all that and that's the silicone I use and I went nuts with it um, but in each cup there is I like one to two drops per cup okay and that's what's in there and that's what we're doing today and this is an 8x10 canvas again so we are going to do a big pop and puncture the bottom of that cup and hopefully all that beautiful paint will flow out we have some nice bright colors mixed with some metallics and that black, kind of like the black sky. You know, I was thinking of like, you know, like nighttime black sky and then this kind of contrasting with the black. Alrighty, so I will be right back and let's get this paint started. I would say let's get this party started, but yeah, it is a party. Yay. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute.
guys, I am back. So, you know, the colors are, you know, I did add some, as you saw, some more black, some of the blue, and that pink, just to make sure that pink really got in there. But, um, and the pop, you know, I couldn't like really, really go really hard with this because I would have like popped the whole cup out of my hand. But, and then also I didn't want like a huge gush of paint coming out. Um, but I did have to squeeze the cup to make the paint come out, as you saw. So the colors did muddy a little bit, but I'm going to be honest with you, I love this. It is, I don't know why, it is giving me this confetti fantasy for me personally. I know you guys like probably want it a little more brighter uh, because of that black was in there, but I think think these colors just mixed so beautiful just look at that this is so cool I really love this actually reminds me of like a Vincent Van Gogh I am not tooting my own horn but just like with the swirls of the texture of it um, I am honestly I, I am loving this I am loving this this has given me just I don't know. I am like totally in love with the, this um, technique. I think next time I did try to make the hole in the cup um, a little bigger um, twice, but again, I was I was afraid that too much paint was going to come rushing out all at once, and that wouldn't have worked out either. This actually, the fact that it dripped out little by little, um, worked so much better. I, I thought I was going to get more cells because of all that silicone, but I did get some in here. Um, and I got a lot of micro cells over here. But I am loving the texture of this painting um, that has a little, you know, just like a, a little background, like a little negative state space back there. I am just loving this. I mean,. It has all the colors here. The green is not showing up all that much, just a little bit here and in here. But I don't know about you, but I am really, really happy with this. It's just, I don't know, just giving me everything I need right now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It actually looks like a little flower in there. Um, yeah, I think that's so cool. I am so happy with this. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the painting, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I have some surprises for you uh, guys soon. I got a couple of things I wanted to share with you. Alrighty, so if you like this video, if you like this painting, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. All the links are below in the description. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.